I take my pick, curl my finger, set the pick down, trap it with the thumb, make sure the point is out just a little bit, and then I add a slight downward angle to it. So you see, once I pull the pick back and get as little pick as possible, the speed increases. So everything I'm doing, I'm keeping my hand in exactly the same position. Where I run into mistakes, it's because I have let my pick change. Don't let your pick change. So when it, I've invariably, I found whenever I got a problem, that's what it is. I've let my pick change or move. All right, so now let's go ahead and we'll run a diatonic major scale. There are two different ways of playing scales. One is the Berkeley method, and one's the GIT method. The Berkeley method would be to roll a major scale like this. Now you notice there it's like three, three, two, and then three. The uh, GIT method, I don't even think GIT is around anymore, but GIT was the Guitar Institute of Technology, West Coast. All the real shredders began to use the GIT system, which was an even number of notes per string. So if it's three notes, it's three notes. So the major scale is basically whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step. If you don't know what all that means, stay tuned. You'll learn. I'll, I'll be going over this as we go along. So one, three, five, one, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, six, three, five, six, like that. Slide up. Next. What scale is that? Well, it's G because I'm on the G note. This is your root note. Root note means name of the scale. Whenever you have the root note, that's what the scale is. Now we're gonna go to G sharp. Clam. Now, if I was going back to my rules, I'd have to start that all over again down on F. You can see why I need this journey back to shred. There's one little thing I left out of this. I gotta need to check in a minute, make sure I'm still filming. This would be terrible to doing all this and my camera, my phone stopped. One more thing I used to do. I used to have a table sitting right here. I used to have a candle. I would light that candle. Now I'd put my hand as close as possible to the candle so if my finger came too far off the neck, it burned my finger! Ah! I don't recommend this, but it was just a quick way of trying, because I noticed that when I was playing, my pinky was this wild thing that jumped off the guitar all the time. So I was constantly working on trying to decrease the amount of room between lift off and place back on. See how far my finger comes off the fretboard? I've been battling that since 1986. I don't think I'm ever going to get, get to the point where I want to get with it. By the way, I'm left-handed, just in case you didn't notice. I play guitar right-handed. I do a lot of things right-handed, but I am a left-handed player. So we're now we're on A. A sharp. Then we go to B. C. C sharp. D. D sharp.
an E. All right, so see you next time, and remember, practice. See ya.